Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss something absolutely urgent in the world of jailbreaking being iOS 8.2 and the latest firmware's release. All right, before we get started here, I briefly wanted to mention Free Apps Fast, which allows users to quickly and easily earn paid apps and gift cards for free. And with that said, as I mentioned before the intro, Apple did indeed release iOS 8.2 to the general public today. So let's go ahead and switch over here and get straight into the details. Today, following the completion of Apple's Spring Forward Watch event, after over one month between now and the latest beta, Apple issued iOS 8.2 to the general public. Now, currently, like the firmware's predecessor, being iOS 8.1.3, the exploits utilized by Taiji in their latest tool remain patched, i.e. it's virtually impossible to jailbreak iOS 8.2 when employing the same version of Taiji. Now, although the first two beta iterations of iOS 8.2 remain jailbreakable, as both were issued before Apple delivered their jailbreak patching remedy in the form of iOS 8.1.3, it's possible that we will receive a new utility sooner than most would expect. As with every past iOS 8 update, and even iOS 7 for that matter, in addition to being available for immediate download through Apple's popular iOS over the air, referred to as OTA for short, update delivery system, iOS 8.2 can be downloaded and installed via iTunes. Also, because it's technically possible for any device supported by iOS 8 to upgrade to 8.2, it's extremely important that those currently jailbroken on iOS 8 8.1.x or even 8.2 beta 1 or beta 2 avoid today's new release like the plague. Today marks the first major iOS 8 release since the company issued 8.1 last October to introduce a plethora of continuity features. However, instead of being geared toward additional iOS improvements, iOS 8.2's focus is more wide-reaching, the Apple Watch and its integration. Now, while it's currently unclear who will release the next jailbreak and whether it will be intended for iOS 8.2 or the firmware's successor being iOS 8.3, one thing's for certain, it is indeed coming. However, before discussing iOS 8.2 and jailbreaking any further, looping back to the firmware itself, as suggested by Apple's release notes, iOS 8.2 adds a wide array of additional health app capabilities, presumably in light of the health tracking Apple Watch, namely body tracking metrics, overall stability improvement to mail, maps, music, and voiceover, as well as a slew of minor bug fixes and even connectivity improvements for the made-for-iPhone hearing aids. Now, the above list contains minor revisions except when including the fact that iOS 8.2 adds compatibility for the Apple Watch, as well as new Apple Watch companion features. However, with that said, and in spite of the fact that iOS 8.2 finally rectifies a number of minor bugs that have trouble devices running iOS 8 since its initial release, it's highly recommended that all users currently jailbroken avoid the latest update at all costs. An update to iOS 8.2 would result in the instant loss of your device's jailbreak if you already are jailbroken. Now, while Taiji's primary kernel exploit for their iOS 8 through 8.1.2 and now 8.2 betas 1 and 2 jailbreak have been closed for some time now, since iOS 8.1.3's release, that doesn't mean the group will throw in the towel. Far from it. Kind of wrapping things up here, luckily when Taiji issued their iOS 8.2 beta 1 through 2 jailbreak, the group was able to simply adapt their previous tool and, using the same exploits as before, they were able to do so without disclosing any additional known, usable jailbreak vulnerabilities to Apple. In other words, the group has maintained the anonymity of their next jailbreak, which they claimed back in November will function on the public version of iOS 8.2. But now that 8.2 is upon us, will it? We'll certainly know more in the coming days, and thankfully, we have more than just Taiji, the group who utilizes a single developer, XN. Pangu is also in play, and they could just as easily release the next jailbreak. For now though, if you're currently jailbroken, remain vigilant when connecting to iTunes and avoid mistakenly updating. For those of you who aren't, just be sure to stay tuned. I will keep you guys completely updated along the way, and if this video helped you out, if it informed you of the latest jailbreak status and you're interested in my upcoming 
iPhone 6 giveaway, be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Remember, avoid updating if you are currently jailbroken, as the number one cause of devices losing their jailbreak is from their users plugging into iTunes and mistakenly updating by blindly clicking the prompt to do so. Again, I will keep you guys notified. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to by clicking on the button down below next to my channel name. Also, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for additional updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.